Shabbat Shalom. Coming to the name of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rechachudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who were well, and salutes unto the Alpha, who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Now, um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Um, we're in Leviticus, the seventh chapter, and um, basically, um, subject to change, but as it stands, the title of this one is Yahweh Shai is the wave offering okay now we're going to uh well we're already here leviticus as i said the seventh chapter um uh one of the books of um the five books of moses as it were um which those five books make up um the torah in the last one kodash you would say thawara um but yeah the first five books of the scriptures um is is like the fundamental scroll if you will the law um which was given to uh moses by um the lord um and the first book uh, the headings genesis that was also written by uh Masha, um king Masha. Because the scriptures let us know that Moses was the first king in Jeshurun, which is Israel. Okay. And um, the question is often asked, well, how did Moses know how it all happened? You know, if it was so many thousands of years after in the wilderness, um, in the mountain, how did he know how it all happened? Well, the scriptures let us know that he was up there for 40 days and 40 nights. And during that period, not only did he receive the law, um, but the breakdown and explanation behind the law was also given um, to Masha, which is known as the oral Torah. You've got the written Torah, which is the laws it's written, but then the oral Torah is like the breakdown of it. And um, he received many revelations, um, things even about the end, about it would all end. Um, but what was written outside of the speaking of the law was the explanation of the beginning the genesis the headings all right but anyhow we're in um, the book of leviticus the seventh chapter and um this is about to speak um about uh the lord so like is about to speak and let moses know how to conduct a particular offering and the part we're dealing with is the wave offering which yahweh shai is the is the completion of the wave offering so it says here in leviticus 7 and 28 and the lord yahweh spake unto moses saying uh and i just said it the way to say moses in the hebrew is masha which means to draw out uh speak and unto the children of israel now here it says the children but really in the hebrew it would be um uh, uh the sons of israel Banyam, the sons of Israel. Okay, but in the English rendition, it tra they, they translate it to children, but really it speak unto the sons of Israel, saying, He that offereth the sacrifice of his peace offering, offerings unto the Lord, shall bring his oblation unto the Lord of the sacrifice of his peace offering. His own hands shall bring the offerings of the Lord made by fire, the fat with the breast, and it, sh and, uh, it shall he bring. That the breast may be waved for a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat upon the altar. But the breast shall be Aaron and his sons. And the right shoulder shall he, he give unto the priest for an heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offering. He among the sons of Aaron that offereth the blood of the peace offering and the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part. Because what would happen is um, those uh, those uh, um, once those sacrifices were made, it would be divided up amongst uh, the priests. But there's a particular order in which it would be divided amongst the priests. Then there's another sacrifice where um, I don't think it's here, but where once it's sacrificed, um, it's, 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 I, I believe it comes under the sacrifice of meeting um, on behalf of the Lord. Um, the priest would eat a portion 
and then the, the 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 person who's offering the sacrifice would have to eat a portion, the sacrifice would meet him, okay. Um, but other than that, it would be divided amongst the priests in the particular order as prescribed in the scriptures, as we're reading through here. For the wave, for the, for the wave breast and the heave shoulder, have I taken of the of the sons of Israel, from off the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and have given them unto Aaron the priest, and unto his sons by a statute for ever, from among the sons of Israel. This is the portion of the anointing of Aaron, and the anointing of his sons, out of the offerings. Uh, of the uh, of the Lord made by fire in the day when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office okay so the wave offering it would be waved and then um sacrificed now Yahweh Shai <coughs> is the um is the ultimate uh, sacrifice because what I wanna there's one more line I wanna read one more time Verse 30, and it's, I said line, so I'll come and say one more verse. The verse I want to read again is verse 30. His own hands shall bring the offering of the Lord made by fire. Okay, so the person who's who's being offered, they have to bring it. They have to bring the sacrifice. Okay, now. Um, um, oops, I was about to put that in wrong. Son, sin. Oh, it's not coming up there. That's fine. Bear me one second. Oh, my dude. Uh, if they... It's not even coming up. In fact, I see it. Just dies with the blood. Yep. So this is a uh, Second Samuel's seven and fourteen. Um, I will be his father, and he will be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will just I will trust in him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men, okay, which ultimately speaking about Yahweh Shai, okay, so because Yahweh Shai, in his past lives had committed sin, okay, as Adam, you know, Isaac wasn't sinless, you know, all right, the only person that walked the earth, sinless, uh, was Yahweh Shai. Okay, you had righteous men along the way, but they were with sin. Okay, the one that was totally without sin was Yahweh Shai. So even Yahweh Shai in his past lives sin. Um, what comes to mind, Solomon, you know, Yahweh Shai was Solomon. Um, Solomon did some grave sins in his later years because of his wives, man. You know, wives, I should say. All right, so, so... How shy had to pay for his own sins, man. You know, all right. Um, there's another scripture I want to get. Bear with me one second. Wait, it says, come on, man. Um, the priest. <laughs> now the internet wants to play up. So that man. What's going on here, bro? <laughs> the 
Let's see if I can find it. See if it's here. No, that's not this one. Bear with me. <coughs> I believe it's in. Um, let me see. It's in the day. I'm trying to remember where that's at, man. <clears throat> See, sometimes you don't go with stuff for a while and then you can't find it where it's at. But it's all good. Right. Talking about the wave offering, Leviticus 23, speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, when ye, when ye be come into the land, I give unto you, <coughs> and shall reap the harvest thereof. Then shall he bring in a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you on the morrow. Okay, so... When it speaks about the land, obviously I was talking about Canaan, but the that that's all a rehearsal to the actual kingdom, man, which we're about to receive now. Okay, because the the first, it would brought, it said ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priests, man, and the first fruits represents the elect. Okay. And that 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 priest, that that what goes into the into the holy of holies and sprinkle the blood upon the mercy seat is the high priest which is a uh, representative of Yahweh Shah because he actually came as the messiah and did that man okay that one time sacrifice hence why we don't have to go back and sacrifice every time we sin man okay all right so that was waived right now when Yahweh Shah came in into the into Jerusalem, the people took palms and their clothes and waved it and put it on the floor. Okay, let's get that. Oh, I know. <clears throat> the sheaves, right? This is John twelve. Um. Verse 13, no, verse 12, and it says, And the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Yahushua was coming to Yerushalayim. Now, obviously, that's speaking of the city itself over there in Israel. But spiritually, in this time, Yahushua is coming to Yerushalayim, the elect, okay, took branches of, of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed the king of Israel. That cometh in the name of the Lord. Okay. And Yahushua, when he had found the young ass, sat thereon, as it was written, Fear not, daughters of Zion, behold, the king cometh sitting on an ass, on an ass's coat. Okay. You know, so Yahushua, even in that act, um, 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 uh, uh, fulfilled um, a prophecy, man. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna go corner again, and we're gonna go. go to um is it Matthew yep yeah. same thing you know uh just different word in Matthew twenty one eight and, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way and others cut down branches we we know we just read in John it was the palm tree branches from the trees and and strewed them in the way and the multitude that went before that followed cried saying Hosanna the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest now Hosanna is really Hawashai Hawashai Nawa Hawashai Nawa which means which means um Saviour or save us save us. Um now let's get that in um let's get it in the blue letter. Let's see what they say. What's that Matthew twenty one right? Um Matthew twenty one verse um, Matthew twenty one verse nine. Um Matthew twenty one Let's get that. Let's see if the blue letter is gonna come. Let's see if they can see. They cried Hosanna with the palms, yeah. Bearing in mind, we're speaking about the wave offering. Uh, let's see what it says. It says Hosanna, yeah. Um, see? Oh, save, oh, save. It says Hoshaya, Hoshaya. You see, he's got it here. Hoshaya, no, Hoshaya, no. An exclamation of adoration, oh save. All right, so 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 the the, the real way to say that in the last one called Dash is, how shy nawa, how shy means to deliver or to save, and when you put nawa at the end of a word, it means, uh, us. It's plural, okay. All right, like you could say Nathan, which means give. But if you say Nathan la Nawa, it means give to us. Alright? You know. So when they were saying Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, they were saying, Oh save us, oh save us. But it's saying it in a in a as it says here, it, you're saying oh save in the sense of adoration. You know, in the sense of exclamation, in the sense of joy. So they were saying, Save us, save us, you know, in a joyous state. Okay. Alright, so they took the palms down, man. And now, what we're going to do is go back to um, Leviticus. Alright. And it... Oh, yeah. um, one second. And it says, And the right shoulder shall ye give unto the priest for a heave offering, and the sacrifices of your of your peace offerings. So your whole shy uh makes peace. The ultimate peace is what bringing back um Israel, starting with the elect onto the Heavenly Father. Okay. You know. Alright. Now, how do we get that? The, because as it were, the Lord um the Lord um, but kind of got rid of Israel, man, in the sense of he didn't do away with the nation because he wouldn't go against his word, but he wasn't dealing with us, man. Okay, so this is Romans 9 and 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? So back in Leviticus, those, the, the Lord was for, the, for us Israelites, man. So who pertaineth the adoption? All right. Being adopted back to the Heavenly Father, meaning we're in the good graces of the Heavenly Father again. And that, that's done how? Through His Son, Yahweh Shai, who are Israelites, to, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. You see? So the law points towards Yahweh Shai, man. The law points towards Yahweh Shai and the service of the Most High and the promises. Okay. So there you have it, man. How would I bring us back to the Heavenly Father, man? He's the one that makes peace, man. Alright. Alright, let's get that. Prince of Peace. Because Yahweh Shai 
he's he was given a job of um of uh making peace between Yasharallah and Yahweh again. Isaiah nine and six for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be wonderful counsellor. Wonderful counsellor, the mighty power, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Okay. So there you have it, man. And it goes to say that about his government, which is going to be the kingdom, man. So all the prophet, the law, the prophecies, it all points towards the kingdom. And so Yahweh Shai is the fulfillment of the way of offering, bringing peace, man. The sacrifice bringing peace between, as it was back then, the individual and Yahweh, while overall the nation and the heavenly Father. Okay. And we could keep going with more examples, but I'm going to wrap it up there, man. Shalom.